In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PS4 emulator Shad PS4. Now, since my last setup video of this emulator, it has had multiple updates, and one feature that was removed was the built-in PKG extractor. So now you will need other software to extract your PS4 ROMs, which I will show you how to do in this video. Okay, let's head on over to shadps4.net. I will leave the link to this page and a pinned comment below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on downloads. Now this emulator is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And the one you wanna download is the Shad PS4 QT Launcher GUI. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna select Windows. And once you click on it, your download will start. We are also going to need this program here called the PKG Editor, which I will leave the link to this page also in the pinned comment. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download. And this will download as well. And the last thing you need is this free program here called 7-Zip. And this is the program that I prefer to use to extract my files. Now you do not need 7-Zip. You can use your built-in Windows extractor, but I prefer to use 7-Zip. If you want 7-Zip, the link will be in the description. Now I have moved the Shad PS4 file here on my desktop. You guys can save your file wherever you like, whether that be an external hard drive, external SSD, it's up to you. I also have moved the PKG editor file here on my desktop, and I also created a folder called PS4 ROMs, and inside of that folder, I have four PS4 ROMs. Now I am sorry I cannot tell you guys where to find PS4 ROMs, but if you go to Google and search PS4 ROMs, I'm pretty sure you will find what you are looking for. Also make sure that your ROMs are in the PKG format. Now if you are still having issues, then you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description, and I will have some videos there that can help you out with this. Now in some cases, when you download a PS4 ROM, it will download as a PKG file. In other cases, it will download as a compressed file, and these files will need to be extracted. So let's go ahead and highlight all three of these files. Now we're gonna right click. Now if you want to use your Windows built-in extractor, then you can come to extract all, but I prefer to use 7-zip, so I'm gonna come down to show more options, 7-zip, and extract here. Once it's finished, we can go ahead and delete the zip files. Now, if any of your games extract into a file folder, then go ahead and open that folder in a separate window. Inside of that folder, you will find your PKG file. Let's drag that in with the rest of the PKG files. Delete the folder. Now for project cars, this ROM also came with DLC, so we're gonna drag that into the folder as well. And delete the folder. And now what you wanna do is create a separate folder for each one of these PKG files. So right click, new folder, and name each folder the name of the game. So for this folder, I'll call it Drive Club, and I'll move my Drive Club PKG file into that folder. And you wanna do this for all of your games. And there we go, I have created new folders for all of my games and named those folders the name of the game. Now let's extract our PKG editor. So right click on it, show more options, 7-zip, and extract here. Here's my extracted file, we no longer need the zip folder, so we can right click and delete it. Now let's open the PKG editor. Let's go up to file, open, go ahead and locate your PS4 ROMs. Here are mine right here. Go inside one of those folders we created and select your PKG file. And you should see an image of that game over here. Go ahead and hit extract to GP4 project and go ahead and name this the same as the name of your game. and save. Extract it, okay. And now if we head back over to our PS4 ROMs folder 
and we take a look inside of that JSTARS Victory Plus folder, you should see some additional files here. And the most important file would be this one here, the bin file. Now I'm not gonna repeat this on camera because it can take a while, but do the same step for all of your games and also do it for each individual DLC file. I know it's time consuming, but it's what we have to do now. And the last thing we're gonna extract is the actual Shad PS4 emulator. Right click, show more options, 7-zip, and extract to Shad PS4. Once you get your new folder, delete the zip file. Let's open the folder. For the directory with games, go ahead and hit browse. And I'm gonna locate that folder on my desktop, that's PS4 ROMs, and then hit select folder. For directory with DLCs, I'm gonna select my DLC folder and select folder, okay? Now here we are in the emulator and there's my four games, Drive Club, JSTARS, Project Cars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and my DLC car pack for Project Cars. Now the first thing we're gonna do in the emulator is come over here to version manager and check this box right here, check for pre-release updates at startup and then go ahead and check this box to see if we have any updates right now. And then you should get this pop-up, the latest versions have been added to the list for download. Go ahead and select pre-release nightly and yes to download it. Okay, now we are using the most recent release of this emulator. Okay, now let's go up to settings, go over to graphics, for the graphics device, if your PC has a graphics card, go ahead and select that graphics card. And if you want to increase the resolution of your games, then down here under window size, you want to change the width and height to whatever resolution you want. But I will let you know anything over 1080p will cause issues and crashes. So if you want to try 1440p or 4K, you can. And if you have any problems, then come back here and just change it to 1920 to 1080. Now let's come over to debug and go ahead and check this box right here for enable shaders dumping. This will save your game shaders, making less stutter during gameplay. You will mostly notice this on your second play of that game because you still have to load shaders. We are done here, come down to apply and save. Now as for your controller, if we come up here to controllers, you do not have to map your controller out. I have tested an Xbox One, Xbox Series, and a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. And those three controllers work with this emulator and the emulator will automatically map your controller out so you do not have to set up your controller. And just to show you that the emulator is reading my controllers, if we look right here under Active Gamepad, you see my DualSense and my Xbox Series X controller. Now, like in every other emulator, you can change your button layout by clicking on the button and then pressing whatever button you want to become that button. But if you're using a PlayStation 5 controller, it's the same layout as a PS4 controller and it maps your Xbox controller out just fine. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Now, if you want to go full screen, then you just press F11. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.